Mexico City is a destination where tourists enjoy good food, good drinks, and good company. From its charming hotspots to ancient bars to cultural sites, Mexico is a hub for all things fun. While it's impossible to cover all the attractions and notable neighborhoods, I'll share the top 8 places you have to visit while you're in Mexico City. First up, we have the Grand Hotel Ciudad de Mexico, where age-old opulence meets panoramic city views. Even if you're not staying in this accommodation, it's definitely worth stopping by solely for its majestic, jaw-dropping interiors. The building first opened its doors in 1899 as a department store, so you can imagine the intricate design and craftsmanship that went into its creation. To this day, you can see the influences of Art Nouveau, from the curving staircase to the antique elevator. But the piece de resistance of this hotel is its Tiffany stained glass ceiling, which was interestingly imported from France in 1908. What I love about this place is that not many people take the time to visit it. It's a hidden gem known only to history buffs, architecture enthusiasts, and curious travelers. So you'll be among the lucky few to witness and enjoy this little-known attraction. Next up is El Moro Churreria, which you can find in multiple locations around the city, like Roma, Condesa, Centro Historico, Polanco, and Cuauhtémoc. If you're ever craving something sweet and chocolatey, this is the spot to go to. Just be ready for the long lines that wrap around the block. This beloved churro shop has been in business since 1935, and they're famous for their fried sugar-coated churro logs which you can get for 12 pesos. But let's be real, a churro is never complete without a hot chocolate by its side for dipping and sipping. And for only 23 pesos, you can enjoy your sweet treat with a chocolate dip of your choice. Apart from the delectable desserts, one of the standout features of this food hub is its spiffy blue and white design. The walls are adorned with minimalist patterns that pair perfectly with the sleek porcelain tiles all around. Not only does this place offer delicious food, but it also has Instagrammable interiors for you to take hundreds of pictures in. You can't plan a trip to Mexico without paying homage to Palacio Nacional or the National Palace. This is a monumental complex that houses museums, gardens, renowned murals, and offices of the president, as well as the Ministry of Finance. A brief history of this place. The Palacio Nacional has been the seat of power and sovereignty for over 500 years. Several political figures and cultural contributors have lived and worked within its four walls, making it a must-visit destination in my book. Today, the complex is open to the public for free. Anyone and everyone can explore the grounds to see the famous mural of Diego Rivera, titled The History of Mexico. The painting takes up multiple wall panels and tells the story of Mexico's past from the Aztec era all the way to the revolution and beyond. Apart from that, you can also walk around the impressive gardens that display both local and foreign plant species. As impressive as those are, they are just the tip of the iceberg. There's a whole lot more going on inside the different areas of the complex, and you'll need at least a few hours to take everything in. If you're excited about visiting Palacio Nacional, wait till you see the next destination. Located in Coyoacan, Museo Frida Kahlo is one of the most colorful and picturesque museums in the city. It was dubbed Casa Azul, primarily because of its distinguishable cobalt blue exterior. Besides its striking facade, what's interesting about this museum is the collection it holds. As the home of Frida Kahlo and Diego Rivera, you would think that most of the works here would be their own, but you'd be mistaken. The museum actually showcases their personal collection, featuring pre-Hispanic artifacts, folk art, memorabilia, photographs, and other personal items. If you ask me, the artwork is just a bonus. The real star of the exhibit is the house itself. Every room is perfectly preserved, and stepping inside feels like being transported to a different era. At the end of the tour, you enter a gift shop where you can take home Frida-inspired souvenirs, from the typical magnets and postcards to the more intriguing jewelry and shawls. Take note that this is one of the most popular tourist attractions in Mexico, so you need to purchase your tickets way in advance. The general ticket price is around 320 pesos, but if you're a student or a teacher, you can buy a ticket for only 60 pesos. Continuing our cultural and historical tour of the city, it's time to check out the Monumento a la Revolución. This landmark is located at the center of Mexico City in Tabacalera, just off the main Avenida de Reforma, and it commemorates the victory of the Mexican Revolution. 
Another fun fact about this structure is that it went through a lot of changes over 28 years. Eventually, it was finished in 1938. When you visit the arch today, you'll see an eclectic combination of Mexican socialist realism and Art Deco styles. And while you can take a picture of this magnificent monument from afar, a better option is to head up to the observation deck and get an up-close and personal look. Just take note that the fee for this activity is 110 pesos. Besides the observation deck, there's also the underground museum where you can learn the ins and outs of the Mexican Revolution. Then, if you visit the location at night, you will see the structure light up. It's truly quite a spectacle and an Instagram-worthy moment. Moving on to Templo Mayor, this museum features archaeological excavations and, more notably, the remains of the main temple of Tenochtitlan. According to the Aztecs, the Templo Mayor is the ultimate center of the universe, which makes it the perfect spot to build a monument for their deities, primarily the god of war Huitzilopochtli and the god of rain and agriculture named Tlaloc. Among the eight rooms in the museum, you'll find Huitzilopochtli on the south side of the building, whereas Tlaloc is located in the northern part. Because of this, you can expect to see all the excavated products related to war in the broad sense on the south side, while everything related to natural resources is in the north. The general entrance fee to the museum is 95 pesos, but children below 13 years old, senior citizens, students, and teachers can enter for free. As much as possible, try to schedule your visit from Tuesday to Sunday because the museum is closed every Monday for maintenance purposes. As enlightening as it was to see actual artifacts from the Aztec Empire at Templo Mayor, you'd be missing out if you didn't take the time to visit Teotihuacan and its pyramids. Teotihuacan is another archaeological complex located just northeast of the capital. It's considered the sixth largest city in the world, and it boasts colossal pyramids of the sun and the moon, which are two of the biggest ancient structures in North and Latin America. In 1987, Teotihuacan was recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, which should be reason enough to add this destination to your itinerary. I'm telling you, just being on the site is unbelievable. Imagine how much more incredible it will be once you learn about its history. If you're interested, there's an on-site museum that offers fascinating facts and trivia about the daily lives of this ancient civilization. From their artistic practices to spiritual beliefs, you'll no doubt leave the complex with a brand new insight and appreciation for the Aztecs. Mexico truly has such a vibrant culture that you'll probably need to spend a lifetime in the city to truly immerse yourself in everything it has to offer. Up to this point, I've shared seven well-known spots, and everything thus far has been an incredible journey. So what do you think will top our list? Share your guesses in the comments section below. After exploring the historical landmarks, let's take a trip to the modern slide of Mexico City. And there's no better place to go to than Polanco, an upscale neighborhood with tons of interesting shops, premier restaurants, and bustling nightlife. Since this is considered the richest area in the city, be ready to break the bank and I mean that in the best way possible. Polanco offers priceless experiences that will last a lifetime, from its impeccable luxury retail stores to its unmatched dining options. If budget is not an issue, head over to Antara Fashion Hall, where you can shop from a wide range of international brands. Then, if you're feeling peckish after your spree, you can book a reservation at Quintanil, a world-class, two-Michelin-starred restaurant known for its deconstructed presentation of local cuisine. If you can't snag a reservation at Quintanil because availability runs out months in advance, you can explore other eateries in the area, like El Bajio Polanco, which specializes in Central Mexican food. El Turex is another fantastic spot. It's a simple hole in the wall in the middle of Polanco's swanky version of Beverly Hills. It might seem out of place among the sleek and modern shops all around, but it is one of the best authentic taquerias you can find. And their specialty, Cochinita Pibil. Then, for a nightcap, head over to Limantour Polanco, where you can sip on trendy cocktails to end the day in style. Mexico City is the ultimate destination, offering everything from iconic historical landmarks to chic, modern neighborhoods. If you were to choose, would you rather see the modern scenes or explore historical spots? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, you'll love this next one.